Thank yourself. Thank give yourself the credit for, for having the courage to do what you want to do and loving yourself enough to do it. And a supportive husband that doesn't care that I spend the money. <laughs> you know why? Because he loves himself too. Because he loves he himself can too. too. We can celebrate our anniversary one year. Sorry. And he's, you know, he he's, he's going to get some happiness out of this deal too. <laughs> So he, he's loving you, but he's loving himself first. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to get that. Right. Do what makes you happy. All right, we're going to go away over here. Well, this is so, um, I guess I'll just talk a little louder. Thank you. Thank you. Still not going to ask. <laughs> was in Auburn, Alabama, I think in like the early 90s, and my mom took me, and we had the worst seats I think ever. We were actually behind the stage. I really didn't think that you could, you know, see anything. And all, all I saw for the entire thing was you guys running off stage, toweling off, and running back. And it didn't matter. I was hooked. Um, and, and now that I'm a grown-up, I have kids, I have um, converted my children. I actually have a video I would love to show you, my, my youngest daughter. Every time we get in the car, um, it's Mommy, can we listen to Step by Step? Mommy, can we listen to Step by Step? And my oldest will be like, no, let's listen to Crash or Block Party. And it's, you know, we, we don't have a little fight in the back seat of that. But um, one day I would really love to show you this video of my daughter singing Step by Step because she she loves you guys. They both do. And, and I love you and I thank you. Um, this is the closest I've ever gotten to any of you. Um, and my roommate, Heather, my friend, Megan and Rebecca, I mean, we're first time virgins. You know, we're cruise virgins. And, you have made, I don't know about anybody else, but this, is, and this has made the last uh, 10, 12 years amazing. Um, and, and thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like to finish that. This shit is crazy. You know, most people don't get to see the toweling off part. <laughs> It worked. It worked. It worked. And thank you. And thanks for passing it on to your kids. That's that's what it's all about. You know. One of the greatest times I've ever had in any of my careers, and really in my life, is um, my older son came to a. Uh, our show in LA last year with a bunch of his friends and they're musicians and they're into really dark music and like dark and, uh, I don't even want to talk about it but, but when I came off stage they were all so excited and um, he was really proud and you know they know that you know I do a lot of the creative work on the show and you know sort of plan out most of the concert and stuff and, and all the lighting and all the different things and, um, and Rob and I build all the music together and stuff and they were um, just blown away by the show itself and um, I came out of the dressing room and they was like 10 of them and they picked me up and put me on their shoulders <laughs> and were cheering and it was just a great great feeling you know as parents at least for me I remember when I beat my dad you know driving in his work truck he, we didn't have a car we just had a big horrific truck that um, he delivered lunches to the public schools in, and the truck would break all the branches on the trees when he would go up the street like the dinosaur in Jurassic Park and just hear crack, snap, crack and we'd be like, shit, dad's coming home. But when I would get in that truck with him, usually my brother Mark would sit on the other chair and then there's a spare tire in the middle on the floor and I'd sit on that and it hurt. It was not good for the marshmallow building. But um, he would play old music, he would play old classic music, big bands and stuff like that, and we would always get in the car and want to listen. And it wasn't a boy band, but it shaped me, you know, and it's, it's more even about the experience than the music itself, you know. You just get to get to share that with your kids, it's just, it's priceless. Whatever music it is, it's really cool.
classes of English at school for eight years, <coughs> and I have the opportunity to get home to visit your sets. Mm -hmm. so I could have said what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> I sang all those parts in Spanish. <laughs> the other guys aren't there, but I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sang it. <laughs> That's, me. That's me on the record. And especially that part. Oh. The other guys did those. Which is pretty much every song. Oh, 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 oh. copyright our songs because the same word in every fucking song. Oh, oh, man. oh 78 times. said, you know, that we're not like you other stars. Um, we're not. We're not. And um, I think part of it is that we got to grow up, you know, and, you know, see a different side of life. Um, you know, if, if, I mean, when I was 20 years old, I was running around racing cars and acting crazy and doing all type. We did a cruise in 1990, and all we did was throw people in the pool the whole time. <laughs> Everybody. And we, we didn't spend time with the fans. We tried, but, you know, take a few pictures and just run around, you know, throwing, having water balloon fights and messing up people's rooms and cake fights. We just, um, you know, by growing up, we realize how fortunate we 